Hi, this is Catholic Ben. So yes, God created the universe. He created this world and everything that's in it, including, including the people. And as the first book of the Bible, the Genesis, says, it was all very good. And so we people have been made as the crown of creation, as someone who is able to talk to God, to be in fellowship, to be in relationship with Him as a person to person. You know, because God is not some mindless force in the universe somewhere. He is not part of the universe. He is not part of this creation. He created creation. And He created everything. And He created people out of love, out of sheer generosity, out of sheer willingness to share His divine life with someone who could be willing to Willing, uh, willing and able to receive it. And people, yes, we are beings who are able and uh, able to receive God's love. But the question is if we are willing. And here comes the story of Genesis, the story of the creation of the first people. We're going to go through it really quickly this time. Maybe sometimes later we'll drop in to go into more detail. But the fact of the story is this. I mean, this is the, the basics. The core of this story is this. God created the world. It was a good thing that he created. Material world is not bad in itself. Some people may even think that, but it's not true. Material world is good. He created people. He gave them free choice, free will. You know, obviously you cannot love someone that you have to love. He didn't, want, he didn't want to force anyone to love him. He wanted people to be free to choose. That's why he gave Adam and Eve in that garden. He gave them that one thing, that one tree, where he said, that's your option of choice. This is where you can go and you can choose whether you're going to stay in fellowship and relationship with me or if you will go your own way. And we all know what happened. And it wasn't only them to blame, you know. Um, we say if they wouldn't blow it, we would be happy forever after. But that's not the case. Uh, the Bible says that even the righteous man sins seven times a day, at least. So really, there is no one who is not affected, except Mother Mary, who hasn't been affected by this original sin and who is not affected by the consequences of this sin. Um, but the story doesn't stop here. There's this tragic, tragic part where God um, loses the original connection with people that he had because of this decision that they've made. But he doesn't stop pursuing them. He, he, he loves them. He continues to love them, even though they cannot love him back as they used to anymore. But the yearning inside their hearts, um, that remains. That remains. And we know that we want to be in touch with God and that nothing from this material world can fill our need for Him. Only God can fill our need for Him. How that happens, we will be discovering in the next week as we're approaching Easter, what happened to the sin dynamic and how God came to, re came to redeem us from it. Blessings, we'll see you next time. I'm Catholic Ben. If you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, or follow me on Instagram, whichever you prefer. See you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.